I had a request under one of my videos. Some one of the uh, uh, one of the people that saw my video wanted information on a substance called vitamin B15. <laughs> now this brought back memories because vitamin B15. I don't even know if it's still sold, to tell you the truth, but uh, it, it basically was a big sensation about f a little over 40 years ago. Uh, it, it, it was a touted as a tremendous ergogenic aid. Uh, there was all sorts of claims made about it. And uh, among the uh, things that they said about it, it was also called pangamic acid, P-A-M, uh, hold on, P-A-N-G-A-M-I-C, P -A yeah, P -A -N -G -A -M -I -C. Pangamic acid. Uh, it's basically it was a mixture of calcium gluconate, a form of calcium, and NN dimethylglycine or DMG. Uh, there was claims made for it that it supposedly lowered blood lactic acid, which uh, you know decreased fatigue. It helped to stabilize the blood blood glucose during exercise, and it reduced fatigue. Some athletes reported greater stamina after using pangamic acid or B15 for one to two weeks. Uh, a lot of that was a placebo effect. Uh, one problem with B15 was that there's all kinds of different preparations of B15. I mean, uh, some of them were not really B15, but they were labeled B15. That's what caused a lot of the problems with B15. Uh, the uh, scientists in Russia isolated a, bio uh, a biologically active uh, substance from the liver in 1950 that they called vitamin B15. Later on, uh, a scientist named Krebs, who devised the famous Krebs uh, cycle, energy cycle, he also isolated a form that he called pangamic acid. Uh, other, uh, the, um, the, the pangamic acid was isolated from natural sources such as I ox blood. It's a, uh, pangamic acid is abundant in seeds. It's been isolated in crystalline form from rice bran, brewer's yeast, wheat bran, barley grits, corn grits, wheat germ, and wheat flour. It's a source of di di dietary methyl groups. Methyl groups are, are kind of a current topic now because when you take uh, supplements called NAD boosters, that they, they deplete methyl groups, requires that taking a separate supplement to supply methyl donors. The usual one is called TMG. Uh, this stuff, B15, uh, supply two methyl groups. Uh, methyl groups are involved in synthesizing creatine, choline, and, and uh, methionine, the amino acid. Uh, the, the process is called methylation. It's a vital process that liberates muscle energy at the cellular level to form phosphocreatine. That's the storage form of creatine in muscle. So the, uh, the active ingredient in B15 might have actually have been the fact that it contains two methyl groups and nothing more. However, some forms of B15 uh, contain other stuff. Uh, for example, one ca contained a chemical called dichloroacetate or dimethylglycine hydro 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 hydrochloride, which uh, some lab isolated cell studies showed were carcinogens. I don't know if there was any proof that it caused cancer in humans, but some products that were labeled vitamin 15 did contain those those uh, substances. Uh, the FDA or Food and Drug Administration, they quickly went after B15. They labeled it a fad, a phony substance. They said that it's a, it's, a, it's a food additive and it needed to comply with safety regulations. The people that were selling B15 said it was not an additive, but it was a food because it was found in natural foods. So um, uh, let me see, what else can I say about this stuff? Uh, the Russian... Uh, uh, pangamic acid was uh, a patent was granted in 1975. It was a mixture of calcium gluconate, which is the ca uh, the calcium source uh, salt of pangamic acid, and NN dimethylglycine. That's the Russian formula. A lot of the B15 was sold under the name Russian formula. It was composed of 61.5 percent calcium gluconate and 38.5 percent di NN dimethylglycine. Ah, uh, let's see. Let me see, what can I say? Uh, the, I'm looking at the research here. Russian research uh, showed that B15 stabilized blood sugar, lowered blood lactate levels, and increased stamina. Uh, most of the studies about uh, B15 came from Russia. 
Another study showed that uh, the DMG, dimethylglycine, enhances oxygen utilization and lowered blood, lact blood lactate in animals. Uh, let me see. You know, the whole thing about blood lactate, uh, you know, remember the, this stuff, this is research conducted in the early 80s. In those days, they thought that lactate was bad stuff. Lactate is was considered a uh, end product of anaerobic metabolism. In other words, the use of energy without oxygen would result in lactic acid. And lactate was often considered a, a cause of fatigue, but later research showed that it wasn't the lactate, it was the acid portion that caused fatigue, hydrogen ions. Lactate actually is a very beneficial substance. Uh, it, it can, uh, when it's produced in the muscles, it can disassociate from the uh, uh, hydrogen ions or the acid portion. The lactate travels to the liver where the lactate is converted into glucose in a process called gluconeogenesis the glucose can then travel back to the muscle and serve as a source of energy. So that's called the Cori cycle in biochemistry. So, you know, a lot of the claims made about vitamin B15 or pangamic acid had to do with, uh, had to do with uh, lowering lactate. But, you know, it turns out that lowering lactate is really no big deal. I mean, you don't, want, you don't really need to lower lactate because lactate's not really bad. So, uh, you know... A couple of studies by American researchers uh, examined the effects of DMG, dimethylglycine, that's the active component of B15, on athletic adaptation to stress. The, the results have been contradic that were contradictory, and they really didn't help clear the air about uh, B15. One, one study found that subjects ingesting DMG or B15 had a significant increase in work tolerance Another one found increased endurance among track athletes using pegamic acid. He rep uh, they reported a 23.6% increase in treadmill time to the experimental group as compared to only 0.9% for a placebo or control group. Uh, another study found that subjects on, on pegamic acid or B15 showed 30% less lactic acid compared to those on a placebo. Uh, but, you know, like I say... I guess the best way to sum all this stuff up is, uh, you know, concerning this B15. Uh, I even hesitated to make this video to tell you the truth because B B15, quite frankly, is garbage. You know, it really doesn't do anything. I mean, the, the, this notion about cutting down lactic acid, there's a lot more efficient ways to do that, such as using sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. Uh, there's all kinds of ways to reduce acid. And as I said, the lactate portion of lactic acid is actually very beneficial. Uh, I have an article coming up, up in my Applied Metabolics showing all the health benefits of lactate. So, uh, again, I did this video because somebody requested information. As you can see, there's not much to say about B15. I, don't, I haven't seen it in, uh, on, uh, online. I haven't seen it in the vitamin. I don't go in vitamin stores, but when I last went, I didn't see any B15 on the shelf. As far as I know, the company that sells it might have went out of business years ago. So it's kind of a moot point. It, you know, just forget about B15. It wasn't even a real vitamin. So if you want more information on nutrition, exercise science, anti-aging research, hormone, uh, hormone therapy, ergogenic AIDS, anti-aging research. Did I say that already? Hmm. Anyway, uh, uh, supplement science. Which supplements work? Which ones don't? Women's health and fitness and many more topics are covered in my Applied Metabolics publication, www.appliedmetabolics.com. When you subscribe, send me an uh, a email and I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise, and general medicine. I also have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics webpage, which is strictly for subscribers where they can send me short questions about anything that they read in Applied Metabolics or anything pertaining to nutrition and exercise that they're curious about, and I will try to answer their questions. And that only applies to current subscribers. So subscribe today, www.appliedmetabolics.com, 40 to 50 pages every month, no ads, pure information that inclu includes my over 60 years of constant study and experience. I guarantee you're going to learn something when you read this uh, 
publication. It's uh, written in magazine style, unlike a lot of other digital publications. It's not overly technical. You don't need to have a science dictionary to understand the articles. So, so again, subscribe today. Uh, and I, I guess that's about all I have to say today. This is a short video uh, because there really wasn't much to say about B15. It's garbage. So anyway, uh, I just want to say one thing is that I did this because, you know, some one of the people who view my videos. Oh, uh, speaking of videos, I post a new video every Tuesday. So feel free to subscribe to this channel. And please let others know about the existence of this channel. It's completely for free. New videos every Tuesday. But I only did this video uh, because I was trying to help out a guy or a girl, I don't know who it was, who asked a question about B15. They might have read about it somewhere. Uh, but the thing is, it's it's nothing. Forget about it. You know, as they say, you know, forget about it. You know, it, it's not worth, uh, not worth even thinking about. So if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter, adopt a dog. Thank you for listening.